Kia ora. this is a quick overview of PGP encryption and how to use it yourself. Box surveillance violates everyone's fundamental human rights and makes free speech risky. This guide will explain what email encryption is using a commonly known standard called PGP and will teach you how to use a free tool called Mailvelope. Remember, even if you have nothing to hide, using encryption helps protect the privacy of the people you're communicating with and makes life difficult for box surveillance systems. Imagine you have a pile of gold. You want to get your pile of gold over to your friend Bob across town. You get a lockable box. You put the gold into the box and you lock the box with a key. The problem is, how do you get the key to Bob? You decide to tape the key to the bottom of the box. You figure most people won't turn the box over. This is of course silly and your gold gets stolen. Then Bob tells you about a new type of box he bought. This box has two keys. When he bought the box, he got given two keys, a silver key and a gold key. The silver key can only be used to unlock the box and the gold key is only used to lock the box. Now he has made about 10 of these gold keys and he's given one to you, one to Sally, one to Jimmy and one to Tama. You all have gold keys. You can all lock the box, but only Bob, who's the only one with a silver key, can unlock the box. This is in fact how PGP encryption works. The gold key is public. You can give your public key to whoever you want. The silver key is private. You should never give the private key out to anyone and you should keep it safe. There is a program called Mailvelope. Mailvelope works for most browser-based email systems like Gmail or Outlook.com. Using the Mailvelope system, you make up what is called a keychain that includes both the public and private keys. You then send the public key out through any way you want, unsecured email, posting it on your website or a blog, to whoever you need to. These are people that will be able to lock the box or the email or the file. This is called encryption. Then using your own super secret private key, you can unlock the email or the file. To install Mailvelope, go to this website, www.mailvelope.com, and install the right plugin for the browser that you use. At the moment, they support Chrome and Firefox. Their own help files, by clicking on View Details to the right, will explain how to install it if you get stuck. Once you've installed it correctly, you should see the icon at the top of your browser here. It looks like a little lock with a key. Once installed, click on the icon and click on Options. If you've never had a PGP key before, or you're getting a PGP key for a new email address, all keys are registered irrevocably with an email address, click on Generate Key. Fill out all the details. Make sure your password is at least 20 characters long. Remember, a passphrase is often better than a password. A passphrase is something like, to be or not to be, that is the question. 42 is the answer. It is super long and you will remember it. You should also consider using a password manager like LastPass, but that's another video for another day. You should save your public key as well as the private key somewhere super safe. It's vitally important you save your private key and your password. If someone has used your public key to send you an email, it will look like this. It has a subject line which isn't encrypted and who it's from, which isn't encrypted. And then you will see a cool lock symbol and some gobbledygook that only a computer can read. Clicking on the lock symbol should show you this dialog box. This is where you enter that password you set up when you set up Mailvelope. If you entered the right password, you should now see that same email window, but instead of the gobbledygook, you will see the message. Note that this message remains encrypted forever unless you copy and paste it somewhere else. So of any stage for the rest of your life, you lose your password and you've not copied the message anywhere else, you will never be able to see it again, even if you still have access to this email inbox. To encrypt an email to someone, you'll need their public key. 
If you don't have it, it is completely okay to ask for it and receive it in an unsecured manner. Most journalists and people in the public sphere, for example, will post their keys in a public manner, on blogs, biography pages, public key servers, on the bottom of their email signature. To send an email to someone for the first time, you will have to import their public key into your Mailvelope keychain. Go back to options and click on import keys. Simply paste the key into the big text box or if they emailed your file, import it by pressing the blue button. You can also search for public keys on a key server, but remember, there is no way to get rid of a key on a key server. So often what happens is someone will save their key to a key server and then forget to save their private key or their password. And then they can no longer use that key. Kind of like losing the silver key in our analogy earlier. There's no way to remember how many people you've given the gold key out to. But if you don't have the silver key, you can't unlock that box. So the easiest way is to often ask for someone's public key instead of taking a punt. Once you've imported their key, simply compose the message like you normally would. Put the email address and the subject line in as per normal. Remember, subject lines don't get encrypted, so you probably don't want to put any of the secrets right there. Instead of typing your message into the regular box, however, click on the pen instead. If you don't see the pen and you've just installed Mailvelope, try restarting your browser. You should now get a Compose email box. Start typing your friend's email address in the Add Recipient box. You should see some names appear. If you don't see the person you want to email, this means you didn't import their key into your keyring successfully. Clicking on the Encrypt will change your words to the previously mentioned gobbledygook. Because you're encrypting this with your friend's public key, and you obviously do not have their private key, you cannot ever see what you originally said ever again. You can start again at this stage by hitting the Start Again button, but you cannot see what you typed before you clicked Encrypt. If you're done and you're sure this is what you want to send, simply click Send. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. For more, you can follow my blog at www.vivianchandra.com.